In Sub-Saharan Africa, where the incidence of sickle cell disease is highest in the world, most children born with sickle cell die before their fifth birthday. A team from Cincinnati Children's decided it was time to make a difference. Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood condition that affects millions of children around the world. In the Republic of Uganda, it's estimated that 25,000 babies are born every year with sickle cell disease, and most of them will die before they're five years of age without ever knowing that they had the diagnosis. They took what they had learned from years of studying sickle cell in the United States to the people of Uganda. Uganda already had a system in place to gather blood samples from newborn babies. Our doctors asked, why not use those same samples to find out if the babies have sickle cell? The Ugandan Ministry of Health agreed, and the Uganda Sickle Surveillance Study, or US-3, was born. We are going to be using the same samples that are coming through the EID program for the exposed infants. So after doing our HIV test, the remnant sample shall be used to do a sickle cell test in a way to try to see how sickle cells distributed across the different parts of the country. Cincinnati Children's staff provided the supplies and equipment. They trained technologists from the Ministry of Health to run the lab and conduct the testing. The mapping of sickle cell anemia in the country, it will give us a chance to identify where the burden of the disease is, and we shall be able to concentrate the sickle cell services to that particular region. Sickle cell cannot be cured, but with proper treatment, it can be managed, so children can live healthy lives well into adulthood. The next phase of the program will expand the screening to all babies born in Uganda and to focus on getting treatment to affected children. I don't think we would have been able to manage to buy the equipment that I have seen that has been installed in this laboratory for carrying out the tests. And then secondly, I think the collaboration between the Central Public Health Laboratories, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, Ministry of Health, will take us a long way to improve the services of health care among our children. There is an African saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. The US-3 program is a small but important step in that journey. Cincinnati Children's and the people of Uganda changing the outcome for children together. If we do more studies and we understand the disease in Uganda, I think we can do a lot to help these children. Yeah.